Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. We got a great video, guys. You guys have to prepare because it looks like that we're going to be seeing Dogecoin hitting 15 cents soon. And we got this nice uh, upper channel line that is formed uh, on the top and bottom. And, uh, you know, we're still holding uh, pretty pretty consistently above 13 cents. So that is pretty good. So we've got this whole channel line. We also got uh, some weird and wacky and fun stuff coming out for Doge as well. And we got a big date happening in April for Doge. So we're going to talk about that. And, we, you know, we're going to talk about a little bit of Bitcoin because, uh, you know, we need to see Bitcoin get above $46,000 and that seems to be a pretty big resistance level. I'm pretty confident we're going to get there. Things are all lining up. Things are teeing up exactly as the OG predicted. We got the alien in the house of course and it looks like uh, markets have turned red so we got the Debbie Donner bear in the house and uh, Dino is not happy. He's just kind of off camera and you know what's gonna happen? These guys are gonna get into it. They always get into it. So it looks like the uh, uh, red red card for Dino in the house because Dino s snuck up behind the Debbie Donner Bear and attacked him from the backside, guys. So that's not good, guys. So things are looking pretty good. I remember when you're watching, it's only for education and entertainment purposes only. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. I keep telling you that over and over again. And uh, remember, this uh, video is only for educational purposes. And it's so, so important. It's so important. I cannot stress how important it is is for all of you out there, you've got to do your own research. You absolutely have to do your own research. It's so important. And remember, remember, don't listen to influencers telling you what to do and how to do it. You've got to, you've got to really study. Study the market. Look at the data. Go to the website of the projects that you're thinking about, you know, investing in. Remember, never invest more than you're willing to lose. And look at the players, guys. Look at who's behind it. Uh, you know, once you've got the names, go to LinkedIn, you know, go to LinkedIn, put in their names, see see where they've come from. I mean, you know, if somebody was running like a tool shop uh, in the middle, in the, you know, Alabama Ozarks or something, uh, and suddenly they're like the CEO of some crypto project, maybe you want to watch out over there, you know. So just, you know, do some profiling, do your due diligence. It's so important that you do that. And, uh, you know, check who these people are. It's absolutely important that you do that. And uh, that way you get a sense of, uh, you know how safe is this also look at how long the projects have been around if it's, is if it's been around you know more than two years probably you're you're pretty safe it's not going to be a, a rug pull out there so you know guys do your do, due diligence do your own investigation and make sure that you guys don't give yourself a red card and never listen to influencers uh definitely don't listen to influencers There's a lot of knuckleheads out there who uh you know they just say they they, they talk smack and they talk uh, nonsense and they talk up a good game like a used car salesman and uh, you know they do people into the jumping into stuff and buying stuff so don't do that don't do that so guys let's jump into the content get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole with the OG guys so beware be cautious be wise watch out for scammers and remember do your own research I can't tell the newbies how much just don't like you know you you look at a chart and someone says you know poo poo schmata coin and you see bing and you jump in that's dumb. That's just dumb, diddy, diddy, dumb, dumb. That's called following in. Do your own research, guys. Do your own research. It's so important that you do that, guys. So let's get it right now. So if you take a look at the heat map right now, so the heat map is, a, a, the BTC is at $44,244. And it's slightly down right now. It's down around about 1.36%. Uh, not, to, not to worry, to be expected. It's a, you know, it's a weekend now. We're going to see uh, solar volumes. There's going to be less uh, trading volumes because people are doing other things. Hopefully the bar you're barbecuing with your kids and wives out there. And so you, you should see things going down. And uh, you see most institutions are off right now. Uh, the, you probably see that the volumes for leverage traders are uh, also going down. So for right now, the price of Bitcoin and the price of Dogecoin right now, Dogecoin is trading at uh, $13.29. So that is looking pretty good. And, you know, we have this channel line that's, uh, that is in white here. You can see it. And, you know, I've, I've painted the channel line all the way going all the way from back here at the bottom of 11 cents. The top of the channel is at 11.56. And it looks like, you know, if we continue within this uh, channel line, we should be hopefully getting ourselves up to 15 cents. Pretty soon, I mean, I'm targeting, you know, anywhere between April 4th uh, 
and uh, April 20 uh, getting up to 15 cents or earlier. And remember that uh, on April 20, we've got something huge happening, huge. This is from Dogecoin holder. And we got the 420 is Dogecoin day, guys. So this is a huge, huge news. And, you know, make sure that you guys uh, cheer up with your lucky charms, guys. And your lucky charms is the Dogecoin dog. Woof, woof, woof. And we got Elon. Where's my lucky charms? Who's got my lucky charms? Who's got my lucky charms, guys? So <laughs> cheer up with that. So that is pretty good. So Doge is looking good. Uh, you know, it's 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 a lot better than where it was before. Uh, you know, when we were down here in the, Feb the 24th of February, and that was like, oh, MG, we uh, short tankity tank tank. And I know that people are panicking. Guys, do you remember back back here? We were like at 10 cents. We were at 10 and a half cents so we're doing pretty good right now and we're at uh, 13 cents and a quarter so that is not too bad in the house and if we look at the uh, if we look at the dogecoin uh informatics and detail out there things are looking pretty good for the doge uh we're 58 percent are in the money 40 percent are out to our neutral and we're seeing that the, the indicators here we're looking uh we're still mostly bearish but we're moving up we got one bullish two neutral and two bearish so you know we're moving in the right direction slowly but surely doge is slowly but surely come on my doji woji get you on up doge we need to get you moving guys so it's going to get moving it's absolutely going to get moving in the house guys so this just coming one economist is now calling for back-to-back -back 0 0 0.5 basis points hikes so it looks like you know if the fed does increase the rates to 0 0.5 it's not going to be good and you can see that uh, you know if that happens this range will imply that we're going to have two 0 0.5 basis uh, points and you know if we look at the GDP the GDP is not going to be so good so it looks like we could have a GDP growth of like 3.3 percent and 1.8 percent in 2023 so you know I think that we're going to start heading into full-blown recession soon but this is going to be good if we go to full-blown recession this is going to be good for crypto this is going to be good for Biddy. it's going to be good guys you're going to see Bitcoin and everything tear to the moon this is coming in from crypto Caesar and it says first daily candle close into a bull market support band on the upward move in 247 days so if you look at the 247 day band we're seeing right now that uh, bitcoin is making a very bullish move right now guys right now we're about to make a very bullish move and uh, it looks like you know if we can trend above the uh, bmsb usually brings good good signs and usually brings a good rally for bitcoin so all we need to do to get into this new band and start going nuts in the house is we need to get ourselves above forty six thousand dollars in the house so if i look at uh, bitcoin on a weekly right now bitcoin is at forty four thousand three hundred forty seven everything is looking pretty good we've actually broken out of this range you know this is my uh, 30 uh, my thirty eight thousand forty two thousand range we've broken out of that we're steadily staying above that so my new range is between forty two thousand and forty five thousand dollars so that's our new range ba range band and uh, so far we're staying above that uh, we're staying well above the forty-two thousand dollars, and uh, you know, once we once we can get past forty-five thousand, then that's going to take us up to forty-six thousand right here, and uh, that is going to be a key key point where we need Bitcoin to break out. And we've had this forty-six thousand dollar area uh, that I painted for a very long time, and that is our next next level of resistance. We need to get above there. I think I think Bitcoin is going to get there. I absolutely think we're going to get there, guys. So crypto Caesar, Caesar thinks we're going to get there, but it is key that we get above that forty-six thousand dollars, guys. It's so key. So Justin, MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor says, if you feel robbed uh, in, by inflation, uh, then Bitcoin will give you your money back. And that's absolutely true because Bitcoin is a huge hedge against inflation. We're seeing more and more Bitcoin being taken off exchanges and we're seeing more and more uh, people hodling like crazy. We're seeing more institutions that start to come back, guys. You know, there was a thing about uh, Bitcoin Archive yesterday and it clearly shows that institutions are definitely aping back into Bitcoin and they're hodling like never before. So things are going to go, guys. Things are actually going to go up and up, up soon. Mark my words. Mark this day mark my words things are going to be going up an alien thinks so too and uh, also this is coming in from uh, crypto five max in the house and, and he's saying that this rally will not be over uh you know without the major flipping bullish guys i mean that we need to exit liquidity for somewhat and remember when you make money or i make money it means somebody's losing money because remember this is crypto is a zero sum game guys so remember that so i mean we need to exit liquidity from somebody and uh we are where where are you going to sell at the top if the crowd is not hyped and not binding so we still haven't seen that the there's still not a enough hype out there we're not seeing enough retailers who have aped into crypto yet so you know they were still seeing a lot of retail investors still sitting on the sidelines and we need these guys to 
to, to we need these guys to fall more in like crazy, guys, because if they start to fall more in and follow these rocket rides to the top, it's going to send the price up, 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 guys, because, you know, what's really moving the price right now is the, is the Bitcoin on exchanges and the Bitcoin that's being uh, leveraged traded. So, you know, the, the Bitcoin that you're hodling or that's in your hardware wallet or in your software wallet, that's not going to impact the price movements of Bitcoin. What is really impacting the price movement is going to be the retail investors FOMOing in on exchanges like crazy. It's going to be the leveraged traders who are going to go nuts, guys. So, you know, we can see right here, uh, if you look at this chart, it says this rally is far from over. We still have weeks of green left. So I think this rally is going to continue. We're going to see more weeks and weeks of green. I think the summertime is going to be the boom time for crypto. It's going to be absolutely huge, huge in the house, guys. So you're going to love it. I love it. Let's get it, guys. So let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin uh, on the uh, four hour chart. And, you know, we've broken out of this, uh, we've broken out of our triangle. That that is bullish and we're still moving on up uh, you know we're a little bit down today but that that's because the volumes are light. you can see here the volumes are pretty pretty light it's a weekend guys uh, also too if you take a look at the leverage apes right now in the house the leverage uh, apes you know the amount of leverage is only about 98.23 million it's come down it was about 143 earlier in my previous video we got 38,000 38, traders have been wrecked out there and we're still seeing in the last 12 hour is mainly shorts guys it's short shorts guys so in the last 24 Four hours it's longs so we can start to see that the you know in the hourly it's in the hourly it's it's longs so you know the longs are picking up on the hourly uh, on the four hour it's still longs on the uh, 12 hour it's short so it looks like the longs are starting to accumulate the leverage traders right now are starting to accumulate more and more Bitcoin and they're taking more long positions so that could push pr the Bitcoin price down a little bit and that's one of the reasons that we're seeing Bitcoin right now on the heat map gone down about 1.33 percent is because there's a lot of leverage traders who are taking uh, long positions on Bitcoin of course the market makers are going to push it down so watch out for Hunter Wicks out there guys uh, if you take a look at uh, Ethereum right now Ethereum is still painting a really good green candle on the weekly guys and it's at uh, 3,115 let's take a look at this on the uh, on the uh, four hour chart so let me just clean that up for you so if you take a look at uh, Bitcoin on uh, Ethereum on the four hour chart it's looking fantastical in the house and uh, you know we're well above our three thousand dollar support level and my next support level is going to be uh, resistance around about 3200 and we have seen here time and time and time again that we have had uh, some resistance there at thirty two hundred dollars so we're going to get past up there things are looking pretty peachy keen out there uh, Solana same old same old just going sideways uh, we got support at 95 we got some resistance at 103 104 and right now we're still over 100 bucks so that's positive in house we're seeing that also phantom 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 is still above uh it is actually above the 13135 level and it's at 13645 so it's going to be a pretty quiet now night overall our market cap has come down from came down from 203 to 202 trillion the volumes are very light at 48.90 billion guys and bitcoin dollars is about where it was from the previous video so if you look at the carnage, the carnage, the coinage in the house, uh, it's not too bad. It's still a 44,333. We're down about 1.5%. Ethereum is down 2% right now. BNB is uh, down almost 2%. ADA is down almost 1%. Uh, so Luna is down. Solana is down. You're going to see basically everything is going to be going down because Bitcoin is going down. Bitcoin is going down because we're, uh, the leverage traders are taking long positions and the market makers are pushing Bitcoin down to remove the liquidity from them to the, from the leverage traders to themselves okay so that's how things happen and so i wouldn't worry about it too much uh monday everything will be fine and dining and we'll get ourselves back up 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 guys so that's it from my perspective you know i mean you guys have to just get prepared get prepared for the ups and downs uh get prepared because it's a bit of a debbie downer right now and uh, do go follow me on my twitter got one four thousand one hundred fifty five followers go down there smash the likes subscribe comment you got to feed the ai and the only way you can feed the ai ladies and gentlemen is you got to comment you got to like like it like like unfortunately you can only like once ping so go down there comment 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 up a storm take the video link share it out there guys and uh, don't forget to check out the merch and merch guys get the merch so guys absolutely go check out the merch guys get the mug to mug get the cup to cup you're gonna love it i love it so you know with that being said guys i just want to say god bless each and every one of you dogecoin day is coming guys the 420 is dogecoin day so god bless you i'll see you next one guys it's a great time to be alive